Oh snap, Blaze is going live. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Just like that. Look, I'm from Southside Jamaica, Queens. I don't like Supreme. I don't like Prem him. But he lived the way he actually projected himself. His lifestyle is consistent. He was true to it. He never ran on nobody. Just like that. I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. I was once the problem. Now what I seek to do is I seek to be part of the solution. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support, comment. For more of my story, Google Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Glaze, G-L-A-Z-E, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, and see who the heck I once was. I was a sick, lost individual. I had to get help, and it's only because of the mercy of God. Guess what? I am a much better person, and it's all because of change. Hey, listen, I did a video, and in my last video, I did a video, and it said, a businessman made a business decision against his killer nephew with the United States attorney. So when I did that video, you know what I'm saying, how Supreme, you know what I'm saying, Kenneth McGriff made a deal with Leslie Caldwell and John Mulligan against his nephew, Gerald Prince Miller, all of the Supreme team right now is everybody. It's like, you know, I, you know, comments. Oh, I don't believe you. Oh, you lying. Are oh, you just making that up? This never happened. That never happened. Folks, listen, then y'all even got 50 cents saying Preen never made a deal. How the heck when people that wasn't even around? Let's sit back and think about it. Let me give you the breakdown or whatever. Like I say, I can say anybody made a deal. I didn't say anybody made a deal. If I say somebody made a deal, they snitch or whatever, guess what? That's the truth because that's what happened. If that's the case, I could have said, you know what? Wait a minute here. Pappy made a deal. I could have said, you know what? Hey, Prince made a deal. I could have said, my man L made a deal. I could have, no. What the hell? If I say somebody snitch, cooperate, made a deal, I'm going by pure de fact. Everybody go, oh, where the paperwork? You're not going to have paperwork. Some of the paperwork is sealed. But once again, like I said right now, is you think everybody that made deals is paperwork out there? No. So once again, you know what's wrong? Everybody's so into these people, like you really know them. Everybody into, oh, well, oh, I don't believe this. I don't believe that. Listen, man, guess what? Pressure bust pipe. So imagine what it do to flesh and bone. Let's sit back and think about it. You got, okay, let me, let me tell you, let's go back into the story. In 1985, what happened to Supreme? He got snatched up, okay? He got snatched up, whatever is a state case, all right? It happened in Queens, but they took it to Manhattan. What he got? I think Supreme got sentenced to what? Nine to life, okay? So right now is, guess what? They found a loophole, okay? He came home, okay? On what? A loophole in 1987, so when he came home in 1987, he lasted a few months before the Fed snatched him up. So once the Fed snatched him up or whatever, and they charged him with continued criminal enterprise, bingo. He's in MCC, New York. Okay, when the police officer Edward Burns was murdered, execution style. And what happened? Next thing you know right now, that happened in February 1988. In August 11, 1988, they brought Fat Cat, Pap, they brought... Everybody, you know what I'm saying, in, okay, for our case. And guess what? Preem, being the biggest man that he is, seeing all the heat that's going on, he got his lawyer to get him a deal. You know what I'm saying? No cooperation, he got his lawyer to give him a deal. 12 years flat. So once again, right now, was he wanted to get away from that scene. He didn't want to be a part of that. So right now, while he's doing his bid and he's away doing his time, and you know what? Other shit's still going on. Okay, so what wound up happening was he was on his way out. So sit back and think about it. This is he went away in 1987. Out of 12 years, you get out in eight. So right now he was about to get out. 95. In 1995, as he got closer to get out, United States Attorney Leslie R. Caldwell and FBI agent John Mulligan, they went to see him and they sat down with him. And they talked to him. Okay, cool. 
50 Cent was in there. But everybody go, oh, 50 Cent say this, 50 Cent say this. Y'all didn't even know, y'all never even heard of 50 Cent in 94. Okay? But right now, was, they went to him before he got out while he was still in a federal prison. And you know what they told him? Listen, you, they debrief him. You need to tell us step by step everything that we need to know about Gerald Prince Miller, your nephew. Otherwise, we're going to put you on that indictment. Okay. Despite Supreme being in jail all that time. Despite right now, because see, people don't understand how the federal government work. Despite he didn't have nothing to do with a lot of stuff, they was going to hit him with conspiracy. Because like they told him, here it is, the Supreme team. It's not Gerald Prince Miller team. It's Supreme. That's your name. That's your team. So right now, we're going to put you right next to him. And y'all go on the trial. And you take your chance. This man, technicality from 1985. Okay? He only was out for two months in 1987. So basically from 1995 to, from 1985 to 1995, he basically been in 10 years. So automatically, they gave him an off he couldn't refuse. You either tell us everything that we need to know about your nephew, otherwise you're going to be right there. Now you facing what? A life sentence. Man, guess what? He did it. A business decision. And you know what, folks? That's the truth. But what I learned about folks, like my man, Jack Nicholas, say, guess what? Y'all can't handle the truth. Y'all don't want the truth. Everybody want to live in fairy tale. Oh, no, he didn't do this. He didn't do that. You know what? Was y'all there? Right now is guess what? And you know what? Guess what? Only thing Supreme have to do if I'm lying. Only thing he got to do. He got Herb Gotti in them pocket. He got, he's in their pocket. Get them to sue me for defamation of character. You know, say for forced statement. Get them to sue me. I'm not saying allegedly. I'm not saying allegedly. I'm saying it happened. Get Supreme, you know what I'm saying right now, his crew to sue me and see what happened. When we go to the court of law, only thing I do is right now, yeah, okay, did you say that? Yes, I say that. Why? What gave you the right to say that? Was you there? No, I was not there. But I know the people that was there. Leslie Carwell and John, you know I'm saying, Mulligan. And basically right now is when we go to court, guess what would happen? When they put Leslie Carwell on the stand, or John Mulligan on the stand, and they asking that question, did Kenneth, you know what I'm saying, Supreme McGriff made a deal? Did he give y'all information? Did y'all debrief him? What was the deal about? What did y'all talk about? Checkmate. And there's not a damn thing anybody can say about it. So right now, guess what? Y'all don't got to believe me. If I say somebody say something, I cooperate or whatever, I don't got to make it up. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. The truth is the truth. Hey, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. And like I said right now, right now, don't always know where the paperwork at. It's a lot of shit that's out there. You ain't gonna see no paperwork in. One love. Long ago in the streets of Brooklyn, ladies had me shook it. If he liked what you had, what you had, that took it. Give me gangsta moves, ran with some gangsta dudes. You know I'm Brooklyn, dude, straight take your food. Let me get that. Real 50 cent fat cat, heavy. Had blocks on live, BGG, movement. Here to make improvements. Knock them out the box, Blaze. Knock them out the box. Knock them out the box, Blaze. Knock them out the box. You know more villa. Stories with more villa. Spit real facts, so you know more chiller. My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind, I appreciate it. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book. Beyond Lucky. BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed, autographed copy, means a lot to me. For my brother, day one support. Love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy. My G, my big homie. My brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive. Mafia Apparel. Making the future in art. Making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meech. Rest in peace, baby blue. Hey, Kelly, what you reading? Oh, man, bro. This is such a good book. Super dope book. 